summer. It was fine. How about yours? Not bad, not bad. Cool. Hey! Hey guys. Hey! Hey! You're still in our oh, school. Cool. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. So is uh, any, anybody nervous for this year? No. 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 I am. Yeah. 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 I'm freaking out, man. Oh, no! How are we going to know what we're going to do this year? Hello, Bob Check, Dean of Students, Seneca Valley High School, otherwise known as the Hammer. Don't make me drop the hammer on you. Finish him! Yeah. Now the purpose of today's video is to give you a quick tour of our building and also to highlight some of the procedures that if followed will make this a very smooth school year for both you and me. Now located in the senior high, we do have a health office and our nurse, Mrs. Scholes, she's the best. She's here to help you with anything that you need and I'd like to introduce her to you. Come on in, let's take a look. And the nurse is here to help for anything that you need, but we do have a couple procedures we do like you to follow. Number one, please make sure you have a pass to come into the nurse from your teacher. Just don't come in between class periods. And number two, if you are sick, please make sure you come to the nurse and uh, talk to her and discuss the situation with her. Please don't just call home and leave on your own or go to the bathroom or wherever. Come to a place that they can help you and that is certainly here in the nurse's station. One of the major issues that we always face here in the senior high is attendance. And to discuss attendance, we're going to go into the attendance office, which is the first door in the main office, and talk to Mrs. Barrett. Come on in. All right, this is our attendance office, and this is Mrs. Barrett. Hi. Record keeper of everything. Now, a couple of policies that we like to follow here in the attendance office. Number one, if you are leaving early, zoom in on this one. You must sign out on the early dismissal sign-out sheet. Even though some of you may, may be of age 18, we still require anybody leaving the building early to sign out on the early dismissal sheet. If you come in late, regardless of what time it is, you report into Mrs. Barrett and she will record that as well. While we're in the attendance office, I'd like to discuss the attendance policy. And you'll see in just a second a slide that comes up. But the number one issue that we have to deal with here is making sure you're in school. Remember. The number one rule in life is to show up, and that's what we're here to make sure happens. Number one, anytime you are leaving the building, you do need an early release. And when you do that, Mrs. Barrett will give you an early release permit. So you bring in your excuse to her, she will give you this. Once you get this, when you leave the building, please make sure you sign out on the early dismissal sign-out sheet. Please do not just leave on your own. Well, the young man following procedure. Got an early release, he's signing out like he should and then he's on his way. Thanks for coming today, my man. No problem. All right. If you come in late, you also come in and sign in here, and Mrs. Barrett will give you a blue pass, which you take back to your next period class. Now, when you come in late, as Danielle is today, hi, welcome to school, thanks for coming. You bring in your, your note, you give it to Mrs. Barrett, go ahead, and she will give you a pass back to class, as we've already indicated. Also in the main office next to the attendants, Mrs. Barrett, is Mrs. Greenwald, the other assistant in the office. And anything that you need or you need to know, she'll have it for you. The attendance policy states that if you miss more than 10 days of a semester class or 20 days of a year-long class, you do lose credit towards graduation for that class. And I do have a, a binder here that I do keep track of students and their attendance per period. So if you're ever curious as to what your numbers are, feel free to see me at any time. One thing that does not count towards the attendance policy are any medical notes. We do ask that if you do have any medical notes or any excuses that are on medical letterhead to please bring them in within five days of a doctor's appointment or an illness. Those notes do not count against your 10 days or your 20 days. So it's very important that you get all medical notes in on time. I know we've spoken some about attendance already, but I do want to review just two important things, when you can leave school and when you can't leave school. 
And as you can see on the next slide, the reasons why you can't leave school early include my parents called my cell and said I could. That is not a valid reason. I drive and I didn't feel well, so I left. Not a valid reason. I am 18. Not a valid reason. The next slide will indicate reasons why you can leave school. I handed in early dismissal to the attendance office prior to the start of school. You may leave. The nurse sent me home. You may leave. The bell has sounded to end eighth period. You may leave. And remember, you must sign out before you leave. Welcome to what some say is the most important room in a whole building, the senior high cafeteria. I'd like you to take a quick scan of the cafeteria and show you the before lunch picture. If you could, please. Notice that it's nice and clean, and we're going to be back in just a half hour to give you an after shot of what it should look like after your lunch is over. Now, lunch has just ended, and I'd like to show you the after shot of what it should look like. And if you scan the, the, the tables, please, you can see that it looks pretty much the same as when you came in. Clean. And we really only have two rules here in the cafeteria. Number one, please make sure you clean up your tables, and all trays and garbage will come up to this window over here. Over here. Simply, please don't throw food. You can throw baseballs, you can throw footballs, but please eat your carrots and your cucumbers and your tomatoes. As you can see, we're now in front of the guidance office and we're gonna take a look inside and meet all the wonderful people at the Seneca Valley Guidance Office. Come on in. All right, let's go. You two, get out. You're ruining the film. You're going to ruin the film. We're making the film better. Please. Come back. Let's meet the guidance counselors that you'll be working with. Behind door number one, we have Mrs. McQuiston, who, if your last name begins with the letters A through G, she would be glad to help you. Behind door number two is Mr. Creste, letters H through O. Good morning. Behind door number three, Mrs. Ramirez Haas, letters P through Z. And finally, best for last, Mrs. Koslitz, who deals with all the special education students. Morning, and that is SV Guidance, where they point you in the right direction. We fill out a little request form here to, for any type of um, subject area that uh, the counselors can get back to you on. Um, we'd like um, you to come in and say hi to us. Yeah, come meet us. Um, we're a friendly group. We'd love to answer any questions yeah. you have. And we hope you enjoy your first year at the senior high school. Behind me you see one of the three parking lots that some of the students can use and this one is reserved for Votech and co-op students and you will need a pass to park there. But there's another lot down by the baseball field and obviously the major one up on the top of the, the campus. And I know we have talked some about driving already but just a few reminders. Once you do drive onto campus you're not allowed to leave campus unless you have a pass. Please don't go to lunch or breakfast or just decide I have to run home. Please make sure you get any permission before you leave the school for any reason. Secondly, remember, your, your cars can be searched while on campus, so please make sure your cars don't contain anything that is illegal, that may be legal at home, but is not legal here on campus. And finally, please make sure that you drive safe while you're on campus, and when you park, that your car is parked in the right direction. All spots that are student spots do have an arrow on them that indicate that they are a student spot and also you are to park in the direction of the arrow. The next three categories, hazing, bullying, and harassment, all deal with the same type of behavior in that we are treating other individuals in this building without the respect that they deserve and taking it upon ourselves 
to possibly make it miserable for someone else. And these will be dealt with very seriously and very swiftly here in the senior high. So please make sure you treat others with the respect that they deserve here in this building. We are part of the Spurgio reporting system for bullying. We do encourage all students to use this to report any forms of bullying to us. And it is a very user-friendly uh, forum. You will see that it is a drop-down menu and you simply can use a drop-down menu, highlight the school that it is for us, and that would be the senior high, and you can or cannot use names, that's up to you. You can report it totally anonymously, which is also fine, and it will come to us and we will investigate all of these. Again, it's very easy to use. You can see it all as a drop-down menu, and we do encourage you to use our Spurgio reporting. The final category up here is obviously the big one, which you've known about for years and that is drugs and alcohol and that is an offense that is a level four offense and often leads to expulsion. Please don't come under the influence or bring any drugs or alcohol onto campus or use them at all period. It's the number one reason why kids get expelled from schools is because of drugs and alcohol so please don't bring it here on campus or use it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mr. Hodnicki and welcome to the Senior High. Mrs. Wildman. Hi, I'm Mrs. Allison Schuster. Welcome to the Senior High. I teach Argument 1 and Argument 2, which is an argument and debate class, and I also teach Aviation, which is a class on learning to fly. Welcome. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gratton. Welcome to the Senior High School. Hi, I'm Ms. Armour. Welcome to the Senior High. Hi, I'm Mrs. Pico. And I'm Mrs. Paletti. Welcome to the Senior High. Hi, I'm Ms. Rice. Uh, good luck this year. Have a great school year. Hey, this is Senor Fraser. Wishing everybody an excellent school year here. And uh, welcome back. All right, my name is Mr. Karen Bauer. I teach learning support here in senior high school, and uh, I welcome you. Have a great year, guys. Good luck. Welcome to the senior high school. Good luck to you, and work hard. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gray. I'm the guidance secretary here at the senior high school. Hi, I'm Ms. Haas. I have students P through Z. Um, we want to welcome all of you here um, to our building. And we want to say that we're a friendly office. Come in and say hi anytime you want. We'll answer your questions.